The deadline for female PFT change is extended. The first group of female Marines graduate infantry training and Toys for Tots kicks off. All that and more coming up next on The Core Report. Welcome to The Core Report. I'm Lance Corporal Clayton Filipovich. And I'm Lance Corporal Ali Byswinger. Last year, the Corps announced that all female Marines would be required to perform pull-ups instead of the flex arm hang as part of their PFT beginning January 2014. The deadline has been extended to allow for further gathering of data to ensure all female Marines are given the best opportunity to succeed. Women will have the option of completing either the flex arm hang or pull-ups for the next annual physical fitness test. Last year, I could barely do one pull-up, and now I'm up to eight, so I'm taking advantage of the extra time to complete my goal of 12 pull-ups. We want to know what you're doing to prepare for the transition, so leave your comments below. In September, 15 women began infantry training at Camp Geiger, North Carolina, for the first time ever. We'd like to congratulate the four female Marines who will graduate the course this week. The Marines won't rate the infantry MOS because the training was part of a pilot program to analyze incorporating women into combat roles. The holidays are right around the corner, and the annual U.S. Marine Corps Reserve Toys for Tots program is collecting new, unwrapped toys now through December to distribute to less fortunate children in communities across the nation. The program is in need of toys for both young children and teens. Donate to a local Toys for Tots event near you or visit toysfortots.org to learn more. Following Typhoon Haiyan last week, the Marine Corps sent 250 Marines and 8 MV-22 Ospreys to provide humanitarian relief in the Philippines as part of Operation Demayan. Since the initial effort, the Corps has sent an additional 4 Ospreys and roughly 900 Marines from Okinawa to continue relief efforts alongside the Philippine Armed Forces. Marines with the 3rd Marine Expeditionary Brigade have delivered nearly 1.9 million pounds of relief supplies to victims of the typhoon and evacuated nearly 6,000 people. The Corps will continue to assist the government of the Philippines in providing help to those affected by this tragedy. Remember, you can catch up on everything else going on around the Corps by logging on to our official social media sites at YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Flickr, Pinterest, and Instagram. Those links are in the video description. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next week right here on The Corps Report.